Hello world, my name is Mohit Despande, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your first iOS 7 application. So first things first, you're going to need a Macintosh computer. So check. Next you're going to need the program that we use to create iOS applications and that we call that Xcode and it's you'd open up your app store and search for Xcode. And there it is and install it. It's, it's a pretty big program to install and then as soon as you it says installed click on it and then we'll install some more things but after you get all that finished let's run it and we'll create a new Xcode project we want this to be a single view application and I'm just gonna call this my first app and we'll just hit next, sure we'll create it right there and then it creates this project for us so on our left is our document viewer that has all the relevant code files so me personally I just like to clean up a little bit so what we're gonna create first is our user interface so it's on our main dot storyboard let me make some room so what I want to do is I just want to just to demonstrate how we create iOS applications. I'm going to create a little application that has a text field at the top so you can enter your name and then a button under that and then a label under that so that when you click on the button it takes whatever text is in the text field and puts it in the label. So on our bottom right here you can see that we have a ton of views and I'm looking for a text field and you can use these blue lines to kind of snap it into place so I wanted to cover that screen and let me find the button I'll put it, I'll center it right underneath that and I'll center a label right underneath that but I want to change the text of this button so it doesn't say button so how do I do that? well there's a couple ways uh, one way is just to double click on it and I'll change this to click me and then I'll have to recenter it and then I just don't want to leave this text field blank because then people are going to wonder, oh, okay, well, what do I put in this? So I want to have some kind of placeholder text. So if you click on it, on the right pane, there's a little thing called a placeholder text, one of the properties. And I'm going to set this to enter your name. And you can see it has that faded kind of text so that when you tap on it, that, that text will disappear. But it's just used so that people know what information goes in which text field. And then I'll just leave the label as is right now. Actually, I'll kind of stretch the label out a bit. And then on the right, one of the properties is I want to center the text. Okay, so now we have to get all references to this in our code. So if you click on this little tuxedo thing, it's called the assistant editor. And that'll bring up our .m file and so I want to do something when this button is clicked so it's really simple how you do that you hold down control click on this and then just drag it inside this at sign implementation so we don't not here but here so I let go and then I want this I'll call this button pressed so that anytime this button is pressed I'll run whatever's inside of this whatever is inside of these two curly braces now I also have to get references to this text field and this label but I don't want them to be an action I want it to have what we call an outlet to these so I mean I want, I want to be able to reference them in my code because I have to be able to get thing from here to get the text from here and then put it into here so I'm gonna do it by the same process control drag but I want to put it in this at sign interface not this. So I'll let go and I'll just call this name text field. I'll do the same for the label. I'll call this name label. Okay, so that, now we're done with the UI. We've already hooked everything up and we have it what we want it to look like. So now I'm going to open our .m file. Now I want to be able to take I will, whatever is the UI label, I want the text of the UI label to equal the text in the text field. So I do that by this. 
self dot name label dot text equals self dot name text field dot text and then once again I apologize for not being able to go into exactly the details of what does this dot mean what is IB action what is self what are these properties I, I apologize for not getting too much into this because I don't want to spend 15 minutes teaching you the objective C programming language or uh, dual pointers are and such so just bear with me here and this is all we will need so I want to run this application on an emulator so how do we do that well you can select the kind of emulator or the simulator that you want I'll just leave it iPhone retina three and a half inches and I click this little arrow I guess and then it'll bring up the emulator and we can run our application okay so here we are in our emulator you can see it's a kind of outrageously sized so let me enter a name do click me and it works the label change I can change this to something else and you can see that the label changes so congratulations you've made your first iOS 7 application now I created this video to parallel my other video on Android development and I think this does a pretty good job and I just want to let you to know one more thing is that I'm hosting a course on udemy.com and I'll have the link in the video description so if you want to learn more about iOS 7 application please check the link no prior programming experience is required and if you check the link I was able to get you a massive discount so I hope that all of you that are interested will take the course and love it and happy programming